Welcome to the Unique ITC tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Unique on your Raider and then how to bridge over to our web portal and issue a policy. In order to add Unique to your ITC Raider, you'll want to click on Edit, then Companies. You can click on Add in order to add Unique. Unique is listed as Unique Agency Bill Real Time and Unique Direct Bill Real Time. You want to select the Unique option that corresponds to your billing method and then click Properties. Three items you want to have under Properties are Producer Code, User ID, and Password. If you do not have this information, please contact the Unique Marketing Department and we'd be happy to help you. You do not ha need to have anything for Company Code or NAIC Code. Once this information is in place, you can click Apply then OK, and then Done. Since Unique is a real-time rated company, you can adjust your ITC settings in order to automatically get a rate with us. Click on Tools, then Options. The second tab is Rating. You'll see at the bottom that you want to make sure you have the Real-Time Rating box checked. Beneath that, for Real-Time Type, you'll set that to Automatic, and you can set your specific timeout speed. Once that information is in place, you can click Apply, then OK. We will be using a saved quote. After clicking the calculator icon to rate, an insurance scoring real-time rating box will pop up. Because Unique is a non-credit scoring company, you can either select OK or decline credit. Next, the box that pops up is a real-time rating progress box. You will click on the bridge icon in order to bridge over to the Unique website. After bridging, you will be prompted for your username and password. Underneath these fields is a Remember Me box. You can check this in order to bypass this screen in the future. In the top left of the screen will be the insured's name, and beneath that will be the quote number. If you experience an issue or have a question for underwriting, you can call and reference this number. There is also the option to save and exit the quote and return to it at a later date. Since we are in the quick quote process, we will be hitting the next button at either the top or bottom of the screen in order to navigate through each of the tabs. Again, we will be hitting next to navigate through the quick quote process. The last tab under Quick Quote is the View Quote tab. You can confirm the quoted price here and also view payment options. You will then hit Apply to move on to the new application. Under New Application, we are again going to be hitting Next to cycle through each of the tabs. However, you will want to make sure you have certain information in place or else you will be stopped with an error message specifying what info is missing. You will see in this case I was stopped with an error message for not having an occupation in place. To change driver information, under Drivers, you will click on Edit. And in order to issue a policy, you'll want to make sure you have the information in place that has a red asterisk next to it. In this case, you see the driver's license number is blank. On the second tab under Drivers, Employer Information, you'll want to make sure you have something in place for occupation in order to issue the policy. Third tab under Drivers is for filing information. If there's an SR22 on the policy, the only field you need to have filled in is SR22 filing. For this field, you'll want to have no charge selected. 
The fourth tab under drivers is for accidents and violations. If you hadn't entered in an accident or violation within ITC, you could do so after bridging. We will then hit next to move on to vehicles. To edit information under vehicles, you click edit. Again, much of the information has transferred from ITC. The second tab under vehicles is additional interest. You can click on add additional interest in order to add a lien holder or loss payee to the policy. The third tab is for garage information if the vehicle is garaged at a different location. If everything is in place, we can click next. For coverages, based on Illinois underwriting guidelines, you cannot have both UMBI and UIMBI selected. So in this case, I will be removing the UIMBI. You will also see under vehicles, you will refer to the select button to the left of the vehicle. If there are multiple vehicles on the policy, you will click on the select button to differentiate between the coverages. Second tab under coverages, you can add legal expense coverage by checking this box. For billing information, you want to make sure you have the correct billing method selected. If you do not, you will be stopped and asked to correct. For agency bill, under pay plan you will select paid in full and bill to agent for direct bill you will select the specified pay plan and you can bill to the insured or another address then click next the underwriting questions are fairly standard there are nine of them Upon completion, you can click Next. You are again given the opportunity to look over the quote within the View Quote tab. If everything looks okay, you can click Submit. For direct bill agents, you will be prompted for the down payment amount. This amount is shown in gray at the bottom here. You'll enter in the amount and select agency EFT as payment method and then click submit payment. After the payment has been successfully applied, you can click finalize. The policy has now been issued. You will see underneath the validation message is the policy number. You will click on this icon. You can now see the new policy information. Click on the fourth tab which is print history in order to print the documents for the insured and the agency. By clicking print all you will be able to print out all the documents. Please make sure you have your pop-up blocker disabled for UniqueInsuranceCO.com in order to view these documents. This concludes the Unique ITC tutorial. Please contact Unique Marketing with any questions. Thank you.